All right, guys, this is the first pink slips of the day today on Sunday, and we're going to be playing against the third wheel 345. He has an 89 overall team. Pretty decent lineup. Um, we'll have to look through that so that we can actually see actually the individual players that he has. But the first thing that we need to do is actually spin the pink slips wheel of fortune to see what we're going to be playing for. Some of these things have coins added to them as well if they're lower priced cards, but some of the cards are uh, just priced as is. So this is your chance to win one of these really good cards and we'll spin the wheel to see what we're going to be playing for today. All right, here we go, guys. And we're going to be playing for 88 LaShawn McCoy plus 10,000 coins. So that's his chance. It's actually the signature LaShawn McCoy as well because I did have an extra little signature badge and I was able to do that. So there we go. Signature LaShawn McCoy. And we're going to be playing for that this afternoon. And I want to wish good luck to him before we get started. Good luck to me. Hopefully I have better luck in this one. Going to try and walk out with a W. All right, here's his lineup. He has Randall Cunningham at quarterback. I used to use that Randall Cunningham, actually. CJ Anderson, Anthony Sherman. He's got the, obviously, the Sterling Shark, Kenny Stills, Michael Floyd, Luke Wilson at tight end, Nate Soldier, and Grubbs, Michael Bennett at D-end with Chandler Jones, Haloti Nada, Jamie Collins, Dante Hightower, Gerard Mayo. Um, his secondary kind of leaves a little bit to be desired, but he has tall-ass corners here with the Cromarties and uh, Pat Pete, and Bradley Roby in himself isn't even that short. Devin McCourty at safety. And then Eric Berry. All right, guys. First play on offense. Going to try and run the football here. Move Gronkowski over here to try and get an extra blocker. Get out there and block, baby. Let's go. Oh, the shoestring tackle. He could have been gone there. He could have been gone there. Run play worked pretty well in the first play. And we're going to be off to the races here. Le'Veon Bell is just not quite quick enough. But we are going to pick up a nice gain there. Pick up your blocks, guys. Just run into the guy in front of you. Oh, man. All right, so we're only going to gain a couple there. It is a manageable third down, though, here. Big play here. Got it. Let's go, Gronk. I'm going to continue to try and run the ball here. Jeez, just completely untouched. How many guys missed that block? What the hell was that? What the hell was that, guys? Seriously. And we're dead. Just immediately. I have no idea. I have no words for that right now. He ran a cover three, and two guys came completely untouched to my quarterback. This game is broken. This game is broken. Here we go, guys. Third and 16. Unreal. <laughs> All right, guys. First and 10 on defense. Didn't do anything on offense. Picked up a couple first downs, but really not much. Damn it, Sherman. Good play, good play. First and 10 after that nice run to pick up the first down. And nice play, guys. We finally make a tackle to stop him for a short gain. Please. Oh, man. I thought for sure he was going to pick that. And he runs. Interesting. All right. Fourth down. And he is going to punt as well. All right. So we have somebody that's playing... Somewhat sim style anyway. We've got Nate Solder out there now to block though. And we get through for a decent gain there. So that's going to set up a third and manageable for sure. Good run here. Oh my gosh. I thought for sure we were getting that morph tackle animation. Get him VJAX. Wow. Good gain there guys. 79 yards now on three or on a seven attempt. So definitely a good pick up there. I'm in a scoring position now for sure. So... I need to not turn the ball over. I'm so used to doing that at this range. There we go. Get it, Marshall. Get in there, baby. Let's go. Let's go. First points on the board. Get him, Sherman. Yes. Good play. This is all you. Okay, the screen pass. Wow. He, he made me make a decision there if I wanted the screen pass or to cover the middle there. That was a great play call for sure. Great play call. The Patriots take it from the 28. Damn. Good play. Good short pass there. He's kind of picking me apart with the short passing game right now. So I kind of maybe try to got to try and make an adjustment to that. Yeah, I had to step outside there to make sure he didn't cut that out. But not a bad play call there with the run up the middle. Second and eight. Is he going to try and run again here? Nope. Nice little short drop off pass. Yeah, he's trying to nickel and dime me here for 
Oh, all right. So at least we made the tackle. That's going to set up a fourth down. So he's got to make a decision now if he wants to go for it or not. He might go for it now. That would be a troll move. I've seen a lot of people actually do that. Yeah, he's not picking a play quickly. So I'm assuming he's going to go for it now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I probably should have just let him punt. Uh, all right, whatever. Fourth and three. Don't get beat deep, guys. Do not get beat deep. Pick it. What? Hayden, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, Joe Hayden. Why? Why do you not catch that? He threw it to you. Oh, bruh. He's going to take his three here, it looks like. So it's going to be a 50-yard field goal approximately. And he's got, got this one easily. All right, so it's going to be a 7-3 game probably here going into the second half. Uh, unless I'm able to make a ridiculous play or something. I do have to punt, or I do have to kick coming out of the second half. So this is definitely uh, an interesting game for sure. He's got a chance here to go up. Short passing game has been killing me in this one. But, I'm ex yeah, I'm definitely expecting the running game to start this second half. Mm, good pass. I didn't know whether to drop off there and go underneath or uh, toward the middle or to cover the tight end there. I didn't know what to do. Okay, guys, third and three. Could be seeing another draw play here. Nope, he's going to run a screen. Oh! Thought we were going to make that interception. That would have been ridiculous. Okay, second and ten. Pick up these blocks, guys. Uh, I move. I was trying to cut that back, and then I, then I hesitated, and I just couldn't make the right decision. I know we can do this. I know we can pick this up. Let's go. Let's go, Nate Solder. Let's go. Offensive lineman making catches. Got to continue to try and run the ball here. I have to make sure that he respects the run. Oh, dang. thought we were going to break that one finally. Going to try and pick this thing up here on the ground. Looks like, well, we should have been able to. And we did because LeGarrette Blunt's a beast. I can't believe the fact that that guy missed that block on him. He just ran past him for no apparent reason. Ugh, but that's all right. We are able to pick up the first down anyway. First and 10. After that nice run by LeGarrette Blunt, he pretty much bailed us out there. Gosh, man. Wow. Did he, you don't even have to blitz. When you run cover three, your players just know exactly what to do. When they're supposed to be in a zone, they come off it and sack your quarterback immediately. It's it's amazing how that works. Second and 15 after that horrible loss. All right, we got some blocking here, though. Let's go. Damn, man, those morph tackles are too real in this game. Come on. Get through there, Le'Veon. Oh, why did you spin? I was using my truck stick. Well, I was trying to anyway. Apparently, I whipped it around in a circle. Who knew? Let's go. Oh, my God. These fucking morph tackles. Dude. Dude, you have like 15 yards of open space, and he shoots across and just tackles you with the shoestring. I can't believe that, man. Wow. Let's go, Marsh. Let's go, baby. There we go. That's going to get in. At first, I thought I could be able to pass it, but apparently it was a required drop back, a play or something like that. So um, I ended up just dropping and or, uh, ended up just running it in there with Cam Newton instead of passing. But he didn't have anybody out there wide on my receivers. So um, I've actually seen people run that field goal safe zone uh, near the end zone because it's actually really a nice play. I don't know why, but there you go. So he's got three minutes and eight seconds left in this game to put up 11 points on the board. It was key that we got that touchdown because now he has to score two touchdowns. Well, actually, he doesn't. He just he can score a touchdown and a, and a field goal if he gets a two-point conversion, but he's got to score twice still. Nice short pass there. Nice smart play. And we injured him. Good play. There you go, Sherman. Finally stepping up, Sherman. Oh, there you go. Good tackle. I saw that pass coming. I can't believe that he was still able to complete it. Don't get beat deep, guys. Don't get beat deep, please. Oh, good. Good play call to run with this quarterback there. But it is going to be a fourth down now, though. What is he going to do here? 
situation, so forget I'm going to let him run if he wants to. I'm not sure that he will. Kind of thinking he might now, though. Nope, he's going to pass. Ballsy! Oh my gosh, I can't believe he completed that! Come on, Keekly! You're right there, buddy. You got to you gotta knock that down at least. He just loves these little short passes. I'm pretty sure CJ Anderson has like 10 receptions in this game right now. Another run with his quarterback. Interesting. Oh, I guess he does have Cunningham. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Don't get beat deep, guys. Do not get beat deep. That's all I ask right now. He can run he can run these short passes and he's gonna get down the field, but it's gonna take him too long. Let's go, baby! Who was that? Cameron Wake. Yes! Nice play, dude. Now I'm actually audibling here and I'm putting um Indomakung Su in in uh coverage here. And the reason for it is to stop this little short pass. Let's go. All right. So he is going to complete the pass, but he's still wasting a lot of time here. Whoa. That was a weird animation. Uh-oh. His running back's wide open. No. What a play, though, Calvin. Let's go. The knockaway. Wow, that was a great or great pass. He just got the short end of the deal there on that uh, on that animation at the end. So, I mean, we're probably going to be able to get the W here now because there's only 41 seconds left. But um, yeah, good good play call there. He just he got the short end of the deal. Should be able to pretty much run out the clock here. I thought he had me there coming into the second half when he was down seven to three and he got the ball. Because he kicked that field goal at the end of the first half all because, pretty much entirely because I didn't end up, um, I ended up calling a timeout there. So, uh, he got an extra uh, couple plays in there after he converted that fourth down. But yeah, that is going to do it here for the first Pink Slips game today. Um, I do win, I do keep 88 LaShawn McCoy and 10,000 coins. So, uh, happy about that. He played pretty well. He, Like I said, he got the short end of the stick on a couple of uh, bad animations there toward the end of the game. But... You know, it was a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed it, watching it. If you did, of course, be sure to hit that follow button on the stream. If you're not, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to press the like button or the subscribe button. I would appreciate that, of course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys on YouTube again soon.